Hello there, my name is Tanarium, and today I'm playing Nicole, the sort of new-ish visual novel by Winter Wolves. It came out, where, uh, a couple weeks now, maybe even a month or so. It's been a while, but needless to say, it's come highly recommended as it's a Winter Wolves visual novel. Now, something I want to think them, thank them for now, the window. It's 1280 by 720, thank you. Oh, I hate so much 800 by 600 windows. They're so small and it looks terrible. Finally, someone's got the hint and actually wanted to make it look like a game. <sighs> but without further ado, let's get cracking, shall we? It's uh, my first day at university. There are already tons of people on campus when I arrive. What a cool place. It's busy and loud, but I find that it just makes the atmosphere more exciting in a way. It's nice to know that nothing's different just because I picked a private university to attend. What? What do you mean, private university? Aren't, aren't all universities private? You still gotta pay to get in, don't you? Thanks to some help from school, I already have most of my stuff in my room. The only thing left is a single box and it's already being hefted awkwardly around in my arms. I really want to look around, but that can wait for later when I have more time. I pick up my stride as I approach the dormitory, weaving past other students as I go. I nearly crash into people more often than I'd like, but I make sure to hastily mumble an apology to, to each student who has the misfortune of getting in my way. <laughs> Look, don't crash into a teacher. We've had this before with Magical Diary, and then he hated us for the rest of the year. We don't want to do that again. I know I should slow down, but I can't help it. I've been waiting for this for so long. I worked really hard to get into this university, and now that I'm here, I can hardly believe it. Okay, so we've got a hard-working person. Well, we were out to screw that up. I'm not the only one like this. All around me, I can hear people chattering. My ears prick up at the mention of local restaurants, teachers to avoid, teachers to take, popular media, and a medley of other topics. It's your typical school talk. And as badly as I just want to join in with someone and make new friends, I have stuff to I got to take care of. Man, already with the responsibilities. <laughs> what, like attending a room for the first time? That's, that's not a responsibility. That's something which should just be ingrained into your brain. Soon I'm in one of the halls of the dorm, glancing at each door number I pass to try and find mine. I'm rooming with someone for the year. Chandra Dawn, I think her name is. Well, she's either got hippies for parents, or people who don't know how to name their baby something sensible for parents. Either one's bad. I don't know all that much about her, but I'm hoping she'll be cool. Cool. Oh dear. In the worst case scenario, I'm gonna have to switch rooms. Her best to keep optimistic, I haven't even met- I was gonna say, you haven't even met her! Where's that come out of? Just- Oh well, if I hate her, I'll switch rooms. You give her a chance. I gasp as I hit something, or really, someone, in the hall. We collide so hard that I nearly drop my box, but the unfortunate soul is knocked down to the ground with a pained breath. Oh god, please don't let this be some sort of evil Severus Snape lookalike person thingy my bobby. Ah, oh, I'm so, so sorry, are you okay? Alright, okay, so it's going to be Chandra Dawn, isn't it? I clumsily place the box down and offer a handout. The girl I knock down rises to her knees, gently massaging her head. Whilst you're down there, darling. Oh, she's pretty and so tan. <laughs> and so tan. Well, it's a new release. I'm sure they'll patch that out. And so tanned. I'm jealous. I always burn when I try to do that. Well, if you're not using sunscreen, that's probably a reason why. I I'm fine, thanks. I mustn't have been paying attention. She looks up at me and smiles as she takes my hand and pulls herself up. I don't have a big box blocking my view as an excuse. You're on your knees. <laughs> Clearly looking ahead, can we not speak about boxes, please? <laughs> uh -huh. I still should have tried to watch where I was going. Uh -huh. You know, I think that was, she meant it as more of a, <laughs> and I, I just sounded like some zombie trying to attempt speech. I offer out a hand. I'm Nicole, by the way. My name is Chandra. Ooh! Fist pump for getting it right. It's nice to meet you. Wait, 
Did she just say, yes, yes she did. Chandra Dawn? I start to grin as Chandra. Chandra or Chandra? We're gonna have to make this, no, it's Chandra. And Chandra, and I realize it at the same time. She points eagerly at me. I am going to assume that she is of Indian descent. Or is Indian. There's a name like Chandra. And looking like that, she's gotta be. That, that's the only thing which made me say Chandra instead of Chandra. Nicole, is your last name Grave? <sighs> Alright, when it's a game about people going missing, which it is, I'm not sure we want Grave to be our last name. Oh god. Yeah, so that makes us roommates. I squeal excitedly while Chandra gives me much more contained sheepish smile. That's not a sheepish smile. <laughs> she looks like she's just seen ice cream. And it's just there. But it's behind some sort of glass container. <laughs> with laser security around it. <laughs> and she's just staring at it. It's like... Ice cream. Mm. The, the whole game is now just going to be her trying to get the ice cream. Well, Nicole, it's nice to meet you. Same, same. Except the whole knocking you down thing. Oh, oh, that was an accident. Don't worry, I'm not mad. I, I didn't ask if you were... What? Did I? As if to change the subject, Chandra gestures to the side of the hall. I can show you over to the room. I actually have to go pick up more stuff up. But feel free to place your things wherever. Cool, thanks Chandra. I pick my box back up and follow after Chandra as she leads me down the hall and to the left. The second door from the end turns out to be our room. And I bid her off with a tilt of my head before I head in. We would have got that on the second go. Also, he leaves an umbrella stand. An umbrella stand? An umbrella around the door. So that's going to be nicked. It's university. Oh dear. Our room's pretty empty, but that's to be expected. I give an awkward attempt to just shrug as I hold the box in my arms. <clears throat> I guess I have to roam all to myself for now. I bump the door closed with my butt. Then, oh good. Then set the box down near where I see my other stuff. I see unfamiliar furnishings at the other side of the room and assume those are Chandra's belongings. I would assume that as well. It's great that she's got here around the same time. I like my space and all, but I'm sure I can get lonely with no one around. Yeah, I mean, this is university. This is just all about drinking. I have to admit that the room is pretty nice. It's kind of too simple for my taste, but there's a ton of space for me to put stuff. This is... I visited friends in university. This is not how their room looked like at all. There were plates of alcohol all over the floor. This is unrealistic, damn you! <sighs> yeah, I think I can get used to this room. I think most uni students could die for this room. I gave a triumphant smirk as I think of all those people who didn't take me seriously back in high school. A girl like me in a university like this? Oh, God. don't tell me we're playing a ditzy idiot. Oh, God, I'm gonna cry if we are. Everyone thought I was joking when I told them of my first choice school. Some jerks even laughed at the idea. Oh, wait. We're in college. Oh, that's... The whole private university thing now makes sense. We're in college. Because she was... She's just graduated from high school. Okay, suddenly that makes sense, see? You Americans and your stuff that makes no sense and differs to the rest of the world. What are you like? Okay, I mean, I guess I don't seem like the type of girl to be a complete brainiac. But hey, just because I'm smart doesn't mean I can't try to keep up with other things besides my studies. Like clothes. Hmm, actually, I wonder if there are any sweet boutiques around here. Well, if there are, we shan't be visiting. It doesn't take long to log into my school's connection, despite all the horror stories I've heard about college internet. Why would you now call it college? Did it just wait to confuse you? And then it's like, alright, we'll let off the game now. We'll call it high school. We'll let it go on. <sighs> it's confusing. It's decent. And I start lining up tabs of my favourite websites at the top of my browser. <sighs> Porn.com, porn.co.uk. <laughs> all, all the good ones. <laughs> Don't check if they're real websites, because they probably are. Along with that is a tab of my favourite blogging site of all time. The one, the only... Rollo. The fuck is that? We'll just call him Rolly. 
I have my music player going too, and I hum along to the beat of one of my favourite bands as I scroll through seasonal cardigans. Oh god, look Nicole, me and you are going to have to sit down and have a good chat about what's acceptable and what isn't acceptable. This here, this isn't acceptable. Just checking. Um, also, completely different Jimmy character! And then suddenly, oh, yeah, you look alright. Jimmy! Yeah, you're alright. Oh dear. Yeah, while I'm at it, I might as well be productive. I quickly make a new tab and type my university's name in the search bar. Of course, the first hit would be my school's website. Gross. I really don't want to think about classes just yet. I scroll past it to look at the other choices. Boring, boring. Oh, hey, school newspaper. That sounds cool and I figure maybe it has some info on any events happening at the start of the school year. Like, please show up. Don't drink too much. Oh, wait, you can't even drink. They're in college. Oh, God. All right, come on. Let's go to the light disco where all the 17-year-olds go to dance to shitty music that I've never heard of. Woohoo! I think that's what teenagers do with their lives anyway. <laughs> Unfortunately, besides a recap and orientation, I, which I don't really want to remember ever, there isn't much to read. God for that. Oh, hold the phone! How are she? <laughs> Was, is she that ditzy where she just needs to give herself orders? Just looking on her phone. Hang on. Nicole, hold the phone. We need to read this. Oh, dear. Well, what's this? Multiple disappearance mystery continues. The multiple disappearance mystery continues. There have been three victims so far, the police says. Even as I read the title as the article aloud, I can't believe this. It sounds like some silly rumour the upperclassmen have made us... Made up to fresh... Wait, what? Made to... S We'll try that again. The upperclassmen made up to scare us freshmen. Man. Whew. So many propositions in there. Strangely enough, it seems credible. And the author even has sources and official statements from the police and everything. How weird. So wait, there's been multiple disappearances in the school. Three victims so far. Each girl went missing for around a few days before being found unconscious somewhere in town, unable to remember a thing. And it looks like each victim transferred out afterward. And you don't stop that to hold some sort of investigation? <laughs> what, the police are just like, oh. Oi, Barry, over here, mate, over here. Uh, what is it, Carl? Uh, Barry, mate, uh, there's another one of those girls we found unconscious. Oh, well, what do you want to do about it? Let's have a donut, mate. I, what, what are they doing? All right, whatever. I stop scrolling for a moment as I feel a chill run up my spine. That's so spooky. I don't get it. Can something like that really be happening? Am I missing something? I absentmindedly twirl a strand of hair around my finger as I continue. This is actually kind of weird, and ooh, the police think this is all the work of some mysterious abduct. Well... They clearly appear to have fucking hired Sherlock Holmes for the mystery. What the fuck is that? <laughs> they think it was someone who abducts people. Well done. Well done you. Have a cookie. I finish the article soon after, but the details I read continue to stay in my mind. People going missing isn't just something you can ignore. Why isn't school doing more? Why does no one seem to care that much? It's just like with um Harry Potter. You know, there's a snake running around, round the school. It will kill people. It's petrified three of us. What do we do? Uh, the professors have to escort the children to lessons and they're not allowed out. Just evacuate it. They're going to die. Uh, no, it's all right. And uh, Hermione, Ron and Harry have escaped. So, yeah. Ugh, we better not be having one of those situations on our, on our hands again. Well, that's an easy answer. This is all scary as heck. Plus, it's way easier to leave things to the police. Yeah, I just gotta leave it to the police. Be a little careful, watch myself at night, and most importantly, study, study, study. Watch myself at night? We're not gonna be out at night! 
Alexia. I keep my face straight for a mere second before bursting out into laughter. <laughs> oh, maybe I can buy this striped cardigan as my own start to the semester present. No, can we not? No, nah, okay, we have to. I click out of the news tab and get started on my favorite hobby, online shopping. This isn't the time to get gloomy. Well, it's good that we've got someone who'll definitely be taking things seriously this year.